preview. Um, well, my name is Stephen Clayton. Um, I'm the PGA Golf Professional here at Ocala. Um, I'm also a director of instruction here as well. Teach a lot of juniors like yourself. Uh, but my story, you know, kind of started uh, back in 2003. Uh, that was the, this was my first job. Um, I started as a cart staff guy. I was picking up range balls, uh, cleaning the uh, drive range carts for people. And uh, I was I was a teenager. In fact, I wasn't. I didn't even have a driver's license yet. Um, but uh, I got my driver's license. Um, I was as far as golf goes. It was still a, a very uh, entry level sport for me. I was 15 before I started playing golf, so it was kind of late. Um, but it's been uh, it's been a really great you know uh, ride of these last what's been now um, 13 years. But like I said, started in 2003. Um, I played golf in McKinney North, uh, in current high school, and uh, my coach was Gary Harden, really great guy. Gary, if you get a chance to see this video, I appreciate everything that, that uh, you've done for me. Um, as far as the the golf team, uh, uh, the golf team at McKinney North was very successful. I was a part of that team um, my senior year. Um, played multiple junior golf tournaments, you know, lots of success there. Um, and after high school, I had an opportunity to uh, go to college um, to play some college golf. Uh, at the time, some other things didn't allow for that uh, financially with parents, and it was a, almost like a partial scholarship deal. And I want to say that a, a girl had uh, nothing to do with it, so. Um, but anyway, it worked out. Um, I joined the PGA right after high school. Um, it was about three months after uh, high school that I took my playing ability test to become a PGA pro. Uh, I was successful there. Um, still working here and still playing um, local golf tournaments around the area. But by that point, I was able to uh, become a, a professional golfer where I could actually make money both playing and teaching. So it was a good opportunity for me. Um, from that point, that was whenever uh, things here started to grow uh, from a management standpoint for me. Um, I, had re I had gotten married, I believe, and uh, as things had been going very well. That was in 2006, seven range. But from then on, uh, you know, I've been able to really grow this, uh, this business of mine. I, I do play a lot of professional events, the Byron Nelson qualifying, U.S. Open qualifying, a lot of local events. I have a family now uh, with, with a lot of young children, three of course, um, that keep me busy. But my primary uh, method uh, of uh, uh, professionalism here is, is instruction and uh, teaching guys like yourself. Um, but, but what kind of questions do you have? Do you um, do you want your kids to play golf whenever they go? You know I do, and they and they do uh, currently. They're six, seven, and eight, and they all play pretty recreational level golf right now. I haven't gotten them involved in any tournaments yet, but. But they're, they're definitely going to be, if they want to, they're going to be good golfers. What made you like? What made you like start wanting to be interested in golf? You know, it was um, it was uh, my mother's boss. She donated some golf clubs uh, uh, to her, or he had, and uh, she gave them to me. And it was really one of those things where she just gave me the golf clubs and said, "You know, do whatever you want to be you." I thought it was interesting. I grew up in a, in a town that played a lot of football, so I down the down the road, and I was actually on the football team. That that time, but um, she gave me those clubs, and I took them to a little driving range across from Texas, and uh, began hitting some golf balls. And at that moment, I mean, there was a uh, almost a, a really special moment that I remember very specifically, where I was hitting golf balls, and I said, "You know, this is this is what I want to do." Yeah. So that's that's uh, the reason behind it. And I have no idea what would happen you know, after that, but yeah, that's really what started. What was like your first, did somebody instruct you personally? They did, yeah. Um, it was Hank Haney and one of his staff members, Peter Murphy. Um, I, don't, I don't believe that I would have been, you know, at this success level without those guys, you know, without a doubt. Um, that that uh, facility was Hank Haney uh, Golf Ranch here in McKinney. And I think it's since closed down, but um, pretty, pretty much everybody's familiar with Hank. And, and Peter Murphy as well, he's really successful. All right. What is the experience of being in a professional tournament? Um, well, playing in a professional golf tournament, I rely upon you know, a few different experiences. Um, you know, qualifying rounds, a lot of times you're playing with, with uh, other um, gentlemen or ladies that are trying to get to that next level. But I've been successful and I've been able to play in a couple of professional events. And, um, you know, for me, it's kind of surreal you know, to be standing next to you know, multi-millionaire top golf in the world types of rankings and uh, you know it was at, at the beginning of the day it was very intimidating you know, because, because 
uh, I felt, you know, at that moment that I didn't really, you know, belong, if you want to call it that. But um, shortly thereafter, I realized, you know what, I played some great golf to get here, um, and I can hit the ball just as long. Okay, my name is Art Donut, and I'm a resident here in Bikini. Coach Steve has uh, been coaching uh, our son Liam for uh, uh, several months now, since the spring. He's really got a great teaching ability. He has the patience to teach an eight-year-old boy and bring him along. Uh, he uh, works skills while making it fun. Uh, and uh, that's really good with our son. So, uh, it, it was a very competitive type of atmosphere for me. You know, I felt really good with uh, with how I was able to uh, compete with these guys, but 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 they do it at a uh, at a level like that every day, every week, every, every year. You know, it's not something that I, I think I could commit myself to, but I have a ton of respect for them. And it's that you know another just really memorable, um, really about uh, it was a, a season there where I played a lot of good golf and was able to get into some multiple professional events. But yeah, it, it was. Uh, it was, it was huge. Yeah, definitely. What else you got for me? Um, what, uh, how does your, like, mom and dad, like, think of golf? Like, before you, like, kind of committed yourself to golf, did yes. they even consider you ever playing golf? You know, they, they, uh, they didn't, you know, and, and I, I, don't, I don't think they had any idea, you know, what, what would have happened, but they, uh, we, like I said, we grew up in a small town, and football and all these other, you know, big time sports are what we played. Golf. In fact, we didn't have a golf team in Salon, so there was not an option to play team golf events, so I played individual tournaments. But as far as the parents go, um, my mother, she, she was the igniter of it. My father played local golf in fact, here at Ocala back in the 70s when it was just a little nine-hole golf course. But, um, and he had, he had kind of stopped once he had children and stuff like that. But, but, uh, but no, I mean, that's an interest. I'd be curious to see, you know, what would have happened if, if I was playing golf at a very young age. But, I'm hoping that my, my children will have that opportunity, and they, well, they definitely will. Yeah. Um, what, how has, like, golf, you think, been, like, you teaching other people, how has that affected other people? Um, well, you know, uh, like, this is a good example, you know, I feel privileged to be able to do this interview with you, but um, I feel that, you know, through the years I've been able to really um, change juniors, specifically, you know, juniors lives, um, both golf and non-golf related, you know, I've been able to, it's been, you know, pretty much almost nearly 10 years of teaching now, so I've been able to, to see guys like yourself, like how old are you? I'm 15. 15, yeah, so, you know, someone I taught who was 15 10 years ago, now they're, they're a young adult, you know, after college, and, and they came back and reflected on some of the time that we, we spent together, and they said it's, you know, very special moments and that they've learned a lot, so it's just, uh, I feel, like I said, I feel privileged to be able to, you know, um, imprint, you know, ho hopefully some of my good personality traits and, and good things that, that, uh, you know, towards that student and, and give them, you know, some good life lessons, even, even with adults as well. Did somebody in your life kind of do that to you, like, for golf? Um, yes, yes, in, in fact he did. Uh, Mike Watson, he's, uh, he's our, our general manager here. Um, the guy that I, that I still, you know, I love that guy. He's great. He's been, you know, a mentor for me, not only as a teenager, but, but as an adult. Yeah, so he's been, he's been huge as well. Yeah. Well, um, well thank you today. That was, it was an awesome interview. Yeah, yeah thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Thank you.